Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Kalei and today I'm going to be doing my March favorites. My favorites videos are a month behind. Um, that's just kind of how I've been doing it since the beginning of the year and it seems to have been working for me. So uh, going forward, this is how I'll be doing my favorites videos because it's just much easier for me to film it. Film it. It's much easier for me to film it this way for you guys um, and I don't have to feel rushed to try to get it before the month ends. So I thought this would be a good change. I hope you guys are okay with it um, and if you aren't okay with it, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so I have a few products. There's, it's not a lot. I've been using the same things over and over but I do want to mention this bronzer from Pure. This is such a good bronzer I feel it's more of a natural bronzer rather than um, contour or like super defined I did mix it today with a it cosmetics bronzer on my face and it just looks really nice it's a matte bronzer mixed with a shimmer bronzer um, and yeah it's really good so I'll link my first look video down below so you guys can check that out next fave is from City Color Cosmetics this is their timeless beauty palette and I have been obsessed with this palette Unfortunately, I'm not wearing it today because I'm trying out a new highlighter combination, but the highlighters in here are so good. They're so good. So I usually use the gold and then I'll use like the rose tone pinkish color. I'll mix them. I'll use them alone. The only color I can't really use on my face would be this color. It kind of comes off more of a purpley shade, um, but I do use it on my eyes as like an eyeshadow. It also comes with four different blushes. I've used this one and this one. I have not used these yet, but I think these would be perfect for a purple lavender look or like a fresh everyday look. So I recommend that you check out the Timeless Beauty palettes. I will have a link down below for all of these products as well as this one so you can check it out. Currently my favorite primer is the Makeup Forever Step 1 um, Skin Equalizer. This is the matte base and I know I did a first look saying that I wasn't sure if I liked it because I haven't played around with it a lot but since it's been a lot warmer I've been able to play with it and use it and I have to say it lines up with all the rest of them. I don't find that it's thick at all. I don't find that it rolls up on the skin when, when I apply it unless I apply it on like skin that has oil on top um, like if I use a radiance oil or something like that um, it will roll up because it's not meant for like oiliness like straight on contact but um, after I cleanse my face I moisturize I do use a moisturizer which is actually another fave it's the Aveeno positively radiant this has SPF 15 I'll apply this to my face and then I will go ahead and apply this after this is kind of dried a little bit it does work great I, I really think that it does I'm wearing it on my face today and I got places to go things to do so I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's gonna hold up for my skin today because it is hot outside so I really like those and then for the foundation I've been loving it's from Maybelline it's the dream velvet foundation the color I wear is the color 92 caramel I do have to mix this with my custom cover drops which is another favorite I seem to be talking about all of these favorites I don't have it with me today I don't know what I did with it I thought I brought it with me but I didn't I do think this is a really good foundation besides Besides the color the color below it is too light and the color above it is way too dark and this is kind of off in color for me I need a yellow base as we all know I always say that I need a yellow undertone so I like to mix g50 from my custom cover drops which is more yellow based just a few drops in with this and it makes my perfect shade like this I like to use this for my contour as you can see I've used it quite often. I just kind of apply it after I apply my foundation and it just adds a quick and easy contour to my face. So I love this. It is shine free and it's a balanced foundation for combination skin. But like I said, I don't use it as a foundation. I kind of use it more of like a bronzer. I have some skincare favorites for face. The Elizabeth Arden Flawless future serum yes i love this stuff as you can tell this is my second bottle of it i get so many compliments about my skin being so clear and so healthy and radiant when i don't wear makeup and i have to say this does make a difference along with this borghese radiance oil now borghese i've been using them for quite a while if you're new to my channel hello i am obsessed with masks it could be mud it could be radiance it could be polishing it could be a dual mask you name it I've probably tried it and if I haven't tried it it's on my list of things to try but I also got this radiance oil and Borghese if you are watching I'm gonna need another one of these and a bigger bottle because this oil is legit and 
bomb. I like to apply this before bed after I do my skincare routine. I wake up the next morning and I'm like, do I even want to wear makeup today? I mean, I have the standard acne pigmentation issues and uneven skin tone, but for the most part, when I wear this, it's like... <laughs> I don't mind being shiny. I don't mind looking oily because it just makes my skin look so good. So it comes in this little dropper form. I only use a few drops of this, but as you can see, it's it's almost it's almost hitting its halfway mark. When I wear my hair in its natural state, I like to use a mousse rather than a gel. I just feel like gel kind of builds up and then it's a pain to wash out. If you have curly hair, then you know. My natural hair is a wavy pattern, so I like to use a mousse. And I've been using the Oil Wonders from Matrix. And they have like a gorgeous line of shampoos and conditioners and styling products. And I've been using this in particular to kind of keep my hair tamed um it isn't that long lasting and hold so you might want to use a gel after using it but i don't use a gel with it but i think it's a really good product so that is what i've been using for my hair um another product i've been loving for my hair is this marrakesh oil it's a hemp argan and hemp oil therapy for your hair and it's just good i'm gonna show you guys today how it looks so i just take a little bit and it just makes my hair look so healthy and shiny. Yeah, I've been loving this. I got this from my FabFitFun box, which I have also been loving. Um, for my body, I've been using the Jurgens BB Protect. And this is just a lotion with like a little shimmer in it. It claims to even out your skin tone and then corrects uh, imperfections to minimize them, I guess. Um, I don't really use it for that. I just wanted a shimmer body lotion. So in the summertime, I'm like glowing glowy all over and not just like my face and you know I want my whole body to shine um it isn't that shimmery though I will say that but the scent is really good and I just like the way it feels it feels really nice I love that lotion and then for an eyeshadow palette it's actually a drugstore and this is the covergirl true naked roses I also have a golden's palette and a nudes palette now I'm very wary about using makeup palettes from drugstore because I just feel like the colors just I don't know they either apply patchy or they don't blend out properly or they're just not good and I've been using these palettes for the past few weeks and I have to say they're pretty darn on point they are just so buttery they aren't very powdery that I have seen um, for me um, for someone else they might be powdery but for me i think that they're really great they're good palettes for on the go i actually gave some to one of my friends and she's like oh my gosh i've been wanting these but the roses and the goldens have been sold out so i gave her two palettes and she loves them as well so um these are legit really good i recommend that you go to target or wherever you go to get color cover girl products and uh try it out these palettes are the only ones i've been grabbing lately so i recommend these i do have a fashion favorite that i wanted to share with you i rarely do the fashion favorites but when i come across something that i wear pretty much all the time i have to tell you guys so these shoes are a favorite of mine these are from nike and i think they're called force they're called force i don't know what they're called i'll link them down below i got them from the nike outlet for like 50 bucks which was <laughs> i mean these are originally i think 179 dollars and maybe no one liked them, but I like them because they're rose gold and they're high tops. I wanted some cute little high top um, sneakers so I can wear like a little snapback and wear some sweats or something with that. But they're not heavy at all and they're very comfortable. So that is my fashion favorite. Like I said, everything will be linked down below in the description box. I do hope you enjoyed my favorites for March. If you did, please push that thumbs up button. Also subscribe. Join my Alpha Babe Nation. It is launching so soon. I'm so excited. Um, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm so happy, so excited. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.